We get to fight my favorite Colossus in the entire game. Yay, yay, yay. Hello, everybody. It's I, Chaos396, and we get to fight my yeah, favorite Colossus in the entire game. Yay. Okay, maybe I should stop talking this quickly. Uh, with my speech impairment, that's not going to go down well. Anyway, yes, as you could probably already tell, uh, we're going to fight my favorite Colossus in this entire game. Sadly, it takes a really long time to find him. Basically, uh... Yeah, you kind of have to go through an entwined path uh, to find him. You have to pass by, yeah, Gaius and, uh... Basically, it's a really long way, but the fight is worth it. Because... It... I realize the entire game is uh, yeah, usually described as epic, but in my eyes, uh... Uh, only select few of the boss uh, fights are, in fact, epic. This is one of those fights. Not because it's a big uh, colossus or a tough colossus. In fact, this is uh, without a doubt uh, one of the smallest colossi in the game. Just because of... <clears throat> I don't know how to describe, uh, describe it. You all uh, know by here now that uh, there's a movie for Shadow of the Colossus uh, coming out within three years time I highly yeah, doubt uh, that uh, they'll be able to put in all the colossi in the game because that would just add uh, uh, cost way yeah, more money than they actually have I can guarantee that so they're probably gonna cut down the number of colossi this colossi ever since the first time I saw it I knew that uh, it would be perfect for a movie it was just perfectly set up for one crap Uh, looks like I'm going the right way. Like, I'm serious. It would be really hard to, uh, to mess up uh, this Colossus uh, fight in a movie. Like, if uh, they actually managed uh, to make it underwhelming, I would... <clears throat> it would just uh, prove uh, that the director was just horrible if he can mess this fight up. I don't think that uh, they'd be able to make the entire movie that great, since, in all honesty, this game isn't exactly movie material. But that fight uh, would uh, be the highlight of the movie if uh, uh, if uh, they yeah just did with a little effort. I mean, they just have to put in an ounce of uh, of effort uh, to do this fight right. Now, hang on, which way do I want to go? I want to go that way. Now, the reason I'm not having that much uh, trouble finding him uh, uh, this time is because I have a map. You will uh, have the easiest time finding him if you have a map because it shows all the twists and turns and so forth. So, just go on GameFAQs and find one. It's not that hard to find. What a great Let's Player I am. Um, I took a wrong turn. Yeah. I even have a map and I'm getting lost. Once again, what a great Let's Player I am. <sighs> And, uh, yes, I'm just about there. I'm just about there. Come on, you're so close. Once you uh, see these uh, pillars, which I actually thought I yeah, did earlier, but I was wrong, uh, just uh, ride uh, through them, because they lead directly to where uh, the Colossus is. Oh yeah, water. I forgot. They include this basically just so th uh, that you had a little bit of uh, light to make sure you were going the right way. That's pretty much it. But once again, if you have a map, it's not needed. And is that a shark? 
just one I saw I had a shark <sighs> right through that cavern is where the fight is now you are gonna want to have your bow and arrow huh, for the the first part of it I don't think it's actually required but it makes things go a bit faster Actually, it's been a long time since I've done this fight. I wonder if I'll be able to do it properly. <laughs> I hope so. Managed to go quite uh, through most of the game without the Let's Play curse. I beat Dirds in uh, one try. I mean... If I could do the Dirds fight in one try and I have died this... I just suck. Now... Uh, you probably saw something that looked a bit uh, like uh, a temple uh, to the left of here. That is where the Colossi is. Now I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Oh, crap. Um, I don't remember what to do. But I think I'm supposed to go over here. Whoa, crap. Get back up. Yeah, I forgot what I have to do. So... Ah, that's right. Come down here. Climb up this. I say climb up this. And right up there. That temple that uh, that's in the background, that's where the Colossi is. Oh boy, I have no memory of what I'm supposed to do. There he is. <sighs> I'm actually here beginning to get tails. Now, this guy, he is a lot stronger uh, than uh, his brother. Get behind this. Okay, it's all beginning to come back to me. You have to run on top of the, uh, these uh, buildings. You can't hurt him right now. Uh, so just run. And then you climb up these things. When you're on top, make sure you uh, hold on to R1 because he's going to charge you. After charging, uh, uh, you're going to want to uh, shoot him with an arrow. It won't hurt, uh, uh, but it'll make him charge again. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Seriously, the first time you fight this, you're just saying, uh, no, uh, how awesome this feels. Like, just watching it uh, isn't uh, good enough. You have to feel it. Now, do you yet see uh, what I mean by this would be perfect for a movie? You're running on the uh, top of uh, pseudo skyscrapers uh, while a monster is uh, charging uh, them and making them fall over. You just know that's perfect for a movie. Is he, is he charging again? Now, when he hits them, a cutscene won't always activate. Oh crap! Not sure what I yeah, just did there, but I think I messed up. Once again, it's been a while since I've uh, done this fight, so I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Good. 
but yeah, the arrow is that uh, more bugs him than anything. Okay, if I remember correctly, you're supposed to just uh, hold R1. Maybe not. I have absolutely no idea. It'll come back to me eventually. Ah, there's the next platform you go to. Ow. Maybe you're supposed to jump when it falls? I I have no idea what you're supposed to do. Oh, man. I knew I should have done a practice run. Come on, get in the view. There we go. I think I'm just supposed to hold down R1. Or maybe I'm supposed to stand up. Ow. Somehow I doubt I was supposed to stand up. But I think I'm getting that close to the end anyway, so. This thing he can't knock down. It's. Saying that is that. That's kind of obvious because it's so big. Like, if he was as big as that, the next class is coming up, he would be able to knock it down, but since he's so small, well, he can't. So, if uh, you lost any health, this would be your opportunity he had to get back. You're supposed to make him uh, knock this one down. You see the collision course? That's where we started, and this is uh, a wall. We are going to make him knock down uh, uh, this pillar into that wall. And I don't think I have... Now, if that were a real human, you would be dead. I'm sorry, but you would be. And crap. Crap, 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 crap. Make sure you get back up quickly. Because you don't want to get hit uh, by Cenobia. Otherwise, you're going to be in pain. And I mean a lot of pain. This guy in... This guy hurts. But even that didn't... Uh, uh, didn't make it uh, ready to kill him. You still have to do one last thing. You have to attract him over here, because he's uh, still over there. And you want to make him no uh, knock this thing down. I don't remember if he does it automatically or not. I'm going to see. Apparently not. Let's hold our one. When he charges... The falling uh, rubble. Ooh. I may have died there. The falling rubble will break his back. And I mean the armor on his back. And did I die? I really hope I didn't die. I didn't die. But even that doesn't uh, make him ready to kill it. You still have to make him charge one last time. Come on, buddy. Dude, charge me. He get him to charge one more thing. Without his back armor, it will stun him. This is your opportunity to stab. Now, this guy 
He's not as uh, weak as his uh, younger brother. He has about the same amount of uh, health uh, uh, as a normal sized Colossi. And since he moves a lot, you aren't going to get uh, very many opportunities to stab him. In fact, I'm surprised I got th uh, this many opportunities. Huh. That's weird. I somehow managed to glitz him into this area. That has never happened to me before. Usually, what he usually does is he yeah, runs uh, uh, back. Uh, towards, uh, like, near the starting area. Usually, yeah, he never stays in this area. He tries to run away. I'm encountering a lot of glitches uh, this run, I notice. I don't know why. Hmm. Looks like I might actually have enough time to do the next uh, Colossi here in this uh, recording session. It didn't take long at all. But yeah, I don't know what happened there. I think he had to say I got stuck to a wall or something and I got the opportunity to stab him. I mean, I'm not complaining or anything, but that was kind of weird. It wasn't nearly as epic as it used to be. But trust me, if uh, you actually play the game and you do that fight, you will feel the epicness. Like, it is amazing. The only problem is I've done it so many times that it's kind of lost its charm. But the first time... Oh. It was just incredible. Well, now that I've done that fight... About time I hear do. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, tastes like garlic. I have enough time to do uh, the next fight against Argus. Or the Sentinel, as some people why I call him. Which is technically his name. Yep, Sentry, Sentinel. Now, it says to have destroyed city, but. What we were just in was a destroyed city, which once again begs the question, were there originally humans uh, living in this land? What he, yeah, is a sentinel to more, is kind of a football field. I know it's a weird thing to say, but it really does uh, seem like a football field. Uh, but you'll see when we get there, in the next part of it.